two gems in one video, why not? Check it. There's a difference between living for other people and living to make other people happy. See, the latter is what get a lot of y'all messed up. See me, I live for other people, but I don't live to make other people happy. You know me, all my videos, all purpose and inspiration and do this and do it. Absolutely, because I want people to live their best lives and I want to serve them. I want to give them hope, uh, inspiration, purpose, help them discover their identity, all that good stuff, right? But the decisions I make to live for other people aren't to make other people happy. And too many people are living to make other people happy. You know how many people are going to school to make their parents happy? You know how many people are working jobs to fit in certain social statuses and be accepted? You know how many people are in relationships with people they don't even wanna be in? Yeah, I'm hitting them all on the head. Do you know how many people are wearing things they don't even like to wear? Going to, like, People live to make other people happy, saying things, uh, eating certain things, drink. I mean, the littlest, most minute things that people live to make other people happy. And at the end of the day, everybody else is happy except for you. That don't make sense nowhere. Live for other people to serve them, to bless them, to give them hope, uh, promise, purpose, and all that. But don't live to make other people happy. And the other gem is stop expecting perfect love from imperfect people. Now, I'm not saying go and walk around and, and live in an expectation of people are gonna hurt you and let you down and make you mad and angry, no. But too many of us are expecting perfect love from imperfect people. That thing, that such thing doesn't exist. Everyone has the ability and will in some way or another let you down or hurt you. Or, But here's the thing, the hurt that you receive is a misunderstanding because what you expect from people is pure perfection. No mistake. Well, no, I'm not expecting. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Because the things that have happened to you in your past, you have this wall of expectation that it will be nothing below this mark. And you have to understand that that life is still life and life will be perfectly imperfect. So don't sit there and expect the, the, the thing that can't even happen. Stop expecting perfect love from imperfect people and your feelings will get hurt a whole lot less and you'll be able to love a whole lot more.